What did you just call me? Did I stutter, Koshe? That name. You said my old name. The name you called me when we were friends. Did you dare call me by that name? I'm not the doctor you're looking for. And I never will be. Sorry, but you'll just have to live the rest of your life bored and disappointed. We were never friends. But he just said... Doctor! You're useless, completely useless! I'll just kill you now, then! Stop it now! Inky? No more. He's had enough, and so have you. We can play another time. The seeds of destruction have been planted traitor when they grow. <laughs> I suggest you keep an eye on those you love. Have fire of my thief. Woof, woof. Are you all right? What's wrong with your eyes, Doctor? They went from cold blue to demented. Nothing is wrong. It's sad to say the Master did make several valid points. I know. What you just did to the Master? That wasn't you at all. After all he's done to me, he deserved it. You know mind control too? It's not mind control. We both know some forms of hypnosis. He just calls it mind control to sound more intimidating. Never friends? Woofy. Ouch, that was a little below the belt, wasn't it? Oh well. The truth hurts. Being tied up, beaten and humiliated? Was all that worth making him angry? Was it satisfying, Doctor? Silent. Well, you got beat up, but was it worth it? To see him panic for once? What do you think? <laughs> Poor little Koshe. So, Doctor, are you gonna be fine? You look you took a real beating back there with the master. In all honesty, it was amazing how you stood up to him. Not many can. Though, out of curiosity, do you think he'll cause any more problems for you? He'll never give up. Even if he's dead, he always finds a way back. Either way, I'll be fine. So, Doc, what are you going to do about your beaten up face? You don't look so handsome now. It's not permanent. A little rest in the Zero Room and I'll be good as new. For being so worried about self-preservation, you're not very good at it. You don't know the Master like I do. There are two things he could never bring himself to destroy. Himself and me. I would have been fine even without Inky. Hold on a sec. Why would Inky as the master spare, uh, ask the master to spare you, based on how you've treated her up to this point? Why do you think Inky stopped the master from killing you? I don't know. Same reason anyone seems to fall for me. Your bad day is bad to get worst. I think you mean worse. Wait, what do you mean by that? Yes, who? Ask Dead Rainbow Dash. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know who says it. Yes, you. Uh, you're just like me. It's a Dead Rainbow Dash.
What, you thought he would get away with cheating in the race with fractured loyalty without getting punished for it? Ugh. Hey, two more. One for this guy. Sure. Doctor, wake up. Hey, doctor, wake up. Come on, I don't want to waste any of this whiskey. Uh, who are you? Where? Doctor, relax. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm here to help. Ugh, great. How about a drink? Uh, how about you drink for a while? We're gonna have a nice long talk. And then. Yeah. So you're saying, I know I should take my time drawing these photo sets, but I just want to update them despite the fact I have recent migraines and headaches and schoolwork and distracting shiz. But hell, looks like I'll have to split the update into two, but it's for a good reason. I get to fast forward to the unnecessary conversation. I'll draw the next photo set immediately after opening, uploading this, and I promise the next one will be greatly detailed. Ooh. Fancy. Yeah. Thank you for 8K. I have absolutely no idea where to put the full-sized image because I can't find any good hosting sites to do so, so I included details as well. What are you dreaming? Do you see your past or what? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. While waiting for DRD's next post, have a little tidbit of what the doctor was doing before he she woke him up. So it was that Fluttershy that sent you. Yeah. I should have seen that one coming, honestly. Well, why didn't you just kill me? Isn't that what she told you to do? Well, Doc, you ain't worth the execution. Wait, excuse me? <laughs> Doc, I didn't come here to kill you. I came here to make you change. Oh, so you're what? Protesting hippie now? Doc, we are the last of the few who still sane enough to change the state we're in. Both of us discorded, yet almost aware of our actions. Face it, the world is at hell, and the only way out is to take out the sources. But we can change this, Doc. We can change this planet into a world where we can't feel the pain of it. Here, Doc, I'll give you a choice. Take my gun and go. Oh, an adventure or... Leave it and I will deal with the master myself. What will it be? That revolver. Why does it remind me of someone? A human. So this took way too long, but at least I finished it and I had fun here. I'm not used to drawing heads-only posts. I'm used to the action type, but hell, this was fun to draw. And also, sorry for the slight changing of styles, trying to prove my shading. Alec. This is all too familiar. I can't shake the feeling out of my head. I know this moment. Look, you really shouldn't. What in the sirens? Celestia's guards. You should go up the back. I'll take care of them. Are you sure you're all, you'll be all right? So. It's just like Wilfred. Those who aren't up to date with Doctor Who or might be, not be too familiar with, uh, with it, this is Wilfred. There may be some spoilers in this though, so read at your own risk. Where are you going to run to, Doctor? The TARDIS. I, I need to get back. I can't fight in this condition. I need to recover in the zero room. 
Do you think the guards will do anything to DRD? Sarah, do you have any plans on getting back to save DRD? Doctor, do you think you should have stayed and helped with dead Rainbow Dash? I don't know. I barely know her. But she seemed to know what she was doing. But I just, I know I can't help that like this. So are you for or against what you've just heard from dead Rainbow Dash? I don't agree with either choice. I can't. Vengeance is not the answer, and it never should be. If anything, I have to stop her. Impressive burst of courage. You managed to get rid of the master, at least for now, even though he hit you pretty hard. Think you can pull that off again anytime soon? He did threaten your loved ones, after all. That can't be good. He said to keep a close eye on those you care about. What? Who do you think he would go after first? I, I don't know. He's already hurt Twilight, but he might do so again. Or maybe... D my previous companion. You know you're no longer friends. You should kill him. And the only way to be free of him and protect those you love. One death versus many done by his hands. That's a fair trade. You have to be more on the master to let him up than you let on. I know you, you're afraid, but you have to deal with him permanently. If not for your sake and Twilight's, you know she'll be next on his hit list. Please, Doctor. Are you, uh, are you going to finally sort out the Master for everything he's done? Or will you just let him continue to hurt the people you love, Mr. Doctor, sir? There must be some other way. That's what I always say, don't I? People get hurt. Maybe. This time. Memories of dear old Will, Faye, Doctor. Wonder what else is worming its way back into your head. The only way out is to take out the sources, hmm? Well then, let's see if you can't pull the trigger this time. You really think you can go through with shooting the master? Don't get me wrong, I hate the fucker, but do you have it in you? You don't plan on actually shooting somebody with that gun, do you? Do you actually plan on using that gun, Doctor? I... 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 I don't... know right now. Either choice holds... terrifying possibilities. I should have stayed in the TARDIS. Nice to see that you, uh, that at the very least you remember Wilf. Of course I remember Wilf. Poor, stupid, wonderful Wilford. Tied to my fate for only one purpose. My tragic execution. Doctor, I know your troubles. I know your secrets. I'm not going to blame you for what you've done. But think of them, of what you did. Of Wilfred, Rose, Jack, Sarah Jane. Doctor, why for one single moment think of the old ones? The people who meant something. Was it for nothing? Do you ever regret helping Wilfred? Yes. It was for nothing, and I regret it. What is it about the master that makes you, uh, that makes him so much more powerful, that makes him so frightening? You're both Time Lords. Why does he have the edge? It's not hard to figure out. He spent his life charging headlong and unwilling to give in to anything. I spent nearly all mine running. And now, I stand even less of a chance because I'm not even... Not again, my head. Do you still have two hearts as a pony? Do they function well in a pony body? Yes, and pounding so hard. I, I... 
Can you hear it? The sound that had driven the master insane as it pounded in his head. The madness that what seemed only he could hear. Do you hear the drums now, Doctor? Can you hear it? Ah! <laughs> Drag, drag. I'm in the TARDIS? How did I get here? Oh, well. <laughs> Whatever. And At least I can rest now. And we still have a Maydrock line. <laughs> yeah, I'll fill in. I'll keep watch outside, okay? Okay, thank you. Mama! Welcome home, Mama! Thank you, Sparky. It's very good. I made a gift too, but it's not nearly as good as sparklers. It appears to just be a simple box on the outside, but on the inside it's programmed to activate when it reads the DNA of our direct family bloodline. So when you reach inside it combines magic and science to scope out and gather the proper molecular structures needed to form an edible pastry. Basically, it's a muffin-making box. Oh! Wowie! And while the doctor rests, we see Derpy has finally left the hospital. Out of character. Now to clear stuff up quickly, the Unicorn Warden is just a friend of Derpy in the story, and is not related to the one in Lady Derpy photos. A different dimension in this, he just protects her. I just thought I'd clear that up, because a lot of people were confused. Enjoy your muffins, mother. Have a good sleep, mama. <sighs> Doctor. It's the best I could do, sorry. But why? Why? Me saving the world is all you care about, then I don't need you. What do you mean by that? I hate you. I really, really hate you. I do something wrong? Is it my fault? Does he really hate me now? Where am I? Doctor, what happened to you? Help me. Buckle up, it's time for an origin story. I don't know how he got here. I just found him one day, like he fell from the sky. It was like a newborn fall. Help me, I I can't seem to walk. He was so lost and scared, I thought I had to help him. Uh, who am I? Doctor. I, I'm called Doctor. <laughs> Doctor who? I don't know. And he said so many strange things. I thought he was crazy at first. A pony? That's impossible, I think. I had things. Arms, hands, fingers. That's it, yes! I never had four legs before. I had to basically teach him the basics of being a pony. This is hard. You're almost there, mister. You can do it! You're supposed to eat them, silly. Oh. <laughs> there, now you can stop complaining about having no clothes. Well, the green is rather nice. I like it. <laughs> You're so weird, Doctor. His eyes were always so sad and determined, like he knew he forgot something important. There's something missing. Blue. I remember blue. 
calling me. I hear her so far away. I need it, but for what? Who am I? And then one day he remembered. I know now. I'm the doctor. I'm a time lord from the planet Gallifrey. I don't know how I got here, but I do know one thing. I'm here to save this planet as a pony. And just like that, he swept me into his wonderful adventures. The lonely doctor and his amazing blue bats always facing the universe with a big smile. And thus the Twelfth Doctor began. We had so many adventures since then. He accepted me as a companion and gave me a key to his TARDIS. He showed me so many wonders and dangers, new experiences. Mommy? Uh, no, 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 I, I, I'm not mommy. <laughs> Congratulations, you're a mother. <laughs> what? But despite all that, he still looks sad deep down. Sad and still desperate to find what he lost. Sad and searching, but did he ever find what was lost? Oh, wrong way. There we go. Derpy, the word I'm about to say is probably the most important thing I will ever tell you. Many have made the mistake of taking this word lightly, and they suffered for it. So when I say this word, you must listen. Run! Time to run. Delete. I... This is, oh wait, that's in. <laughs> mm, uh, I believe this is, this is where we run. <laughs> Miss Hooves, run! Next time you see me, just run. I'm, I'm done for now. Just, just go, go. Did see before I decide to do worse. Go, run, run. Doctor, you were trying to protect me. Suddenly, a realization. <sighs> that was a good rest. Good as new. I decided to go back to doing nothing. Going out there just causes problems. The de dead Rainbow Dash can deal with the Master herself. It's her funeral. I'm sure she's well practiced in those anyways. How in Equestria were you able to fit a gun in your bow tie? That makes no sense, even for you. And we are in Equestria. Dimensional pocket. Bigger on the inside. Didn't you used to hate guns? I don't hate guns. I hate shooting living things with guns. Big difference. Don't be afraid to pull that trigger if you need to. So, you have a revolver now. How exactly are you meant to use it? Um. Exterminate! Ah! Blah, blah, blah. Wait, how can ponies fire that gun without fingers? <sighs> Over the hill I did that, apparently. Don't scare me like that. Bloody hell. Out of character, Dizzy isn't exactly taking care of his hygiene. He hasn't shaved his fetlocks, he refuses to preen his wings, doesn't know he's supposed to preen, so he's molting everywhere. His mane is a growing mess, and he's generally unpleasant and lazy at this point. So bored. If you're bored, why not try fixing the Canadian circuits? I like sexy the way she is. A beautiful blue box. But I haven't played with her proper in a while. Poor girl must be lonely. 
So now you can fly. What are your plans? Perhaps visit Cloudsdale proper, or perhaps add a huge open room in the TARDIS so you can fly around without having to leave. Bonus points that the room can stimulate wind and weather conditions. Done. I've upgraded my gymnasium to include a flying obstacle course and an atmospheric sky with clouds included. Better than the real thing, so there's no reason to leave. How do you keep track of all the different reality versions of the same bonus? Do you have a pan-dimensional Rolodex or something? It's really simple. I'm a Time Lord. I'm sensitive to this sort of thing, and I can tell what belongs to me and what doesn't. All dimensions have their own energy. It's like a special signature. And I can read them and tell who belongs where. This is mine out of place in this ponyverse. So, like, uh, what exactly is the time vortex? I mean, I don't know if you can explain it or not, but it just seems a bit confusing at times. I mean, from watching you, I understand a little bit, but uh, from just putting two and two together, but... Why does it do bad things when you look at it? Well, I'm glad you asked. The Time Vortex was created by the Time Lords to connect all points in time and space. The rules of physics do not apply to the Vortex, thus having e equals mc cubed and its equation between energy and matter. Exposing oneself to the Vortex is dangerous, unpredictable, and can even be fatal. As Time Lords, we grew up in constant closeness to the Vortex, gaining some resistance to its dangerous effects. But when shown the true gateway of the Vortex, we aren't just looking, in, we're connecting to it. And it shows our minds the entirety of time and space. What is, was, will be. All of it rushing into our head at once. For me, it was terrifying. Should probably find a way to keep your wings from pouring up, pumping on command like that, too. It's the only physical attribute you have over the master. And I suppose you're right. I'm snowing. <laughs> <laughs> That's and amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I disappeared last night. The internet shut off literally after I finished. Is that a pin? Yes. Yes! <laughs> Doctor, you're not snowing, you're molting. Your wings everywhere because you haven't cleaned yourself up yet. It's like having, having dandruff fall off, off, off your head constantly. I suggest you fix up your hygiene. No pony is going to like a dirty molten time lord. You need a shower, groom, and preen your wings. I'm snowing for my head, too. You're not snowing, eye rolls. You're molting. Uh, now, Doctor, I believe that's molting. You should really check that, get that checked. <laughs> it's not snowing, you moron. You need to be groomed. Now. Party poopers. I don't think your wings are supposed to do that, Doctor. Didn't you ever learn about preening? The fat locks are cute, though. Um, you should really consider preening. Your wings doing that doesn't look good at all. You should really preen. It's rude to shed like that. Um, snow? I'm not sure that's snow. Looks more like feather dandruff. You should probably preen more often. You know, grown stallions really aren't supposed to molt that much. You should get that checked out. <clears throat> uh, how can I put this delicately? You smell like 211 of the dirtiest seagulls in the world crammed into a small cardboard box with only a decaying corpse to snack on for a month. Oh, yuck. Do I have to? <laughs> I have to do this for the rest of my wings. Ugh. Oh, my doctor. D 
do you think we could have a few of those feathers for a little experiment? <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. Where'd they go? You have a big nose! Perfect target for anyone to honk! Well, leave my nose out of this. Someone's eating your dandruff, dear. Better be careful. It seems Ophel Crabbers and that likes the taste of your feathers. Um, nom, 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 nom. There's no way I'm going to preen all of that crap out of my wings by myself. It's gross. Why are you the master's enemy exactly? Did it start when you were younger? We were always rivals. He was once like me, though. Brilliant, adventurous, heroic. But then one day he went all wrong. I had to stop him. He's never forgiven me since. So you, uh, even after all the, the masters did to provoke you to attempt to get you to chase after him, you still refused to do nothing to let him and let him win? Maybe you're right. Maybe you are nothing but a coward. Yep. Bottoms up. One hour later. Chug, 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 chug. Hey, think you can bring my wings? Disgusting. Freeloader. Piss off, you drunken twat. I think I know the truth you saw, Doctor. It was the end of everything, all existence, everything, and you saw yourself trying to stop it and failing. Am I right, Doctor? I've seen that plenty of times. I wish it was only that. So, wait, how does the TARDIS feel about all this? About how you've changed or come back or whatever? She has a soul, right? She can talk to you, right? You can't understand her, right? Does the TARDIS ever talk to you? If she's got her own consciousness, she has to communicate with you somehow. Um, how is the TARDIS responding to your change of behavior? I thought you and it were supposed to have some sort of psychic bond or something. Hey, Doc, aren't you concerned that the TARDIS might act out of your control due to your current condition? After she told you she uh, herself when, she's, uh, when you said she never took you anywhere you wanted, I always took you where you needed to go. I don't know, I can't talk with her directly, you know. Doctor, maybe you should open up that as a TARDIS and see if she can help you. That's a fantastic idea. Amuriba! <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Very punch idea. It came from a commissioner, a commission stream, and I was given permission to use the commission image for the set. Okay, sexy. Open up and let me see your beautiful heart. I forgot how hard this was to open. Come on, stop being so stubborn. Come on, sweetheart. I need you. Ah! Strong. Yes! You don't even know who you are, then how do you know you're the doctor? How dare you even call yourself that? You're not a healer, wise man, or great warrior. You I think you're just a bunch of copied memories in a fake body. Perhaps you stole the TARDIS. Doctor, I used to really look up to you. You used to keep my ears open for blah, blah, blah. The slightest whisper of you and your adventures. I can't read most of these. So yeah. Skip. yeah, skip down. <laughs> I, what? What is... And mm. more ask better attacking him and I can't read them. Yes.
I'm guessing that's Doctor in Time Lord or something. His real name. This shouldn't be possible. That's not Time Lord. Well, there's Circular Time Lord, and then there's other, and there. I know there's Circular Time Lord, but there's also probably a, a linear script as well. I would imagine. I've heard of Circular Time Lord, and that. It's probably in contrast to linear time lords, so they have a circular. Them. Maybe it's just time lord is circular. I don't know. Anyway, and that's it. Doctor, are you doctor? Are you okay? Doctor, doctor, are you okay? Just take a deep breath. It'll be okay. Doctor, doctor, are you okay? Do you need any help? Um, doctor, are you okay? Say, Doc, are you gonna be all right? Doctor, snap out of it. This is impossible. What is it? Talk to it. Do something, man. Can you? Talk. Say hello to Anata. Is that sexy? TARDIS, is that you? I sure the TARDIS, I hope the TARDIS can clean you up. You're a slob. <clears throat> I'm pathetic. Whoa, what just happened? What the hell just happened? Is that her? She's beautiful. What in the name of Celestia just happened? Doctor, what happened? Are you okay? Doctor, what happened? What was happening? I'm... Not all too sure. The TARDIS chose for it to happen. Congratulations, me. You opened up the heart of the TARDIS. Not only that, but you also looked into it. How does the exposure feel? I... I'm still in shock. And I was terrified at first, but now... For some reason... I feel so... Relaxed. Uh, what? Doctor, can you explain any of what just happened? I'll try. It says she's still an hourglass, through and through. But she's flowing with Huon energy and some kind of magic particles. My Sonic can't read magic. Why is she in the shape of a pony? I haven't the slightest clue, but the readings insist it's an hourglass. Shut up about that stupid fat. Uh, just stop talking about her. Please. If you don't like ponies, why did you take losing Ditsy so hard? What did you even consider her before the whole ordeal? I wanted her to be my companion because she saved me. Even when she didn't know who or what I was. I thought she'd be by my side as my friend, no matter what. But in the end, she was a traitor. Hold on one sec. Ironically, Charlie Horse. Ow. Really? Traitor? She wanted you to be a hero and prove your worth to the world, and you call her a traitor? How about you? Aren't you a traitor as well? 
you decided to just screw the whole world and let it suffer and call the one who wanted to bring you back a traitor? What now? You're a traitor, a coward, and a hypocrite. Real nice. A hero. Prove my worth to the world. Haven't I done enough? What will it take to finally be worthy to you ingrates? How much must I sacrifice to receive your gratitude? <laughs> How many? How many must I save to forgive my mistakes? Why do I have to be a martyr to be worth anything? Sometimes. Sometimes I wish I never remembered who I was. Because at least then, Miss Hoos might have stayed by me when I... I... I wonder, Doctor, what is it that you truly fear? What was it that you witnessed that made you run? A man whose name turned away an entire army, sentient or otherwise. A man who would face demons, gods, and demigods without flinching. Someone who faced complete removal from history itself without hesitation. Surely someone like that isn't afraid of death. So what is it that caused you to do, uh, you do run in such fear? The doctor. You know, doctor, she's watching over you. No matter how much you harm her and insult her, she still cares for you. And I know, even if you keep trying to lie to yourself, you love her too. Hopefully looking into your TARDIS will fix you up and prove that uh, to you that you care. Uh, can we, after this page, call it? Yeah, uh, that's kind of what I was going, I was going to suggest. Yeah, just tell me when the page is over. Yeah. I'm sorry. Cannot hear you now. Hey, mysterious hourglass pony. Are you going to help the doctor? Do you think you could fix him? And the ta Anada, the hourglass. Is it a part of the TARDIS, isn't it? Is she trying to save you? I am trying to protect him. Seriously, Doc, what is the we that weird stuff you keep breathing out every time you have a panic attack? And if you don't believe me, check your last couple of posts. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. He won't see it. He can't. The perception on his mind is too great. What you see expelled is his life energy, struggling to destroy the disease inside him. Ooh, ooh, brainwave! You admit the gold stream out of your mouth when you regenerate, right? I'm, it's trying to adjust to change, uh, to a change, or it excess energy from a change, right? Well, maybe your body is trying to correct something that's changing you. Maybe that's why you're acting so different. Maybe that's why you didn't know, uh, didn't, don't not notice when you revert back to your old self. Mostly correct. I keep it safe inside me for the day he needs to return. Uh, it to return. Hey, isn't the TARDIS supposed to take you where you're needed? So why has it been allowing you to fool around instead of taking you back to Discord's realm? Where he is needed is not as important as where he is safe right now. I have seen the consequences of taking him where he is needed. And the result is death before his time. Why would unsettling questions be emergency emerging from your TARDIS's heart? Is that what you've been hearing us all along? I cannot speak to him, but I am the bridge that allows all of you to speak with him. The bridge was left open by his previous companion, and I also get to speak to his mind. All of you speak through me, but I am merely a gateway and have no control of what messages he receives. I can only hope that they do him well. Take care of him, please. It's all up to you, so please. What the VDC timeline? Yes, it's a separate timeline from the story, but the TARDIS can see the things that can be. And she saw that the VDC was an existing timeline. 
should she choose to take him where he is needed, that is, where he would undoubtedly need to save someone, and by seeing that outcome, she chose against letting him go. Thank you for 9k followers. Have a Madoka crossover. I don't know what a Madoka is. It's an anime. <laughs> I figured from the name. <clears throat> it was either that or, or a video game. Hmm. Do you ever have nightmares, Doctor? Doctor, Doctor, what's happening? Do something! I'm trying. I really am. I, I feel like I'm being torn apart. <coughs> Doctor! <coughs> Doctor, what fate fell in, on your 11th incarnation to cause you to regenerate? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do. Doctor! Wake up, Doctor! Doctor, something is about to happen! <gasps> oh, Doctor. At first I wanted you to change back. I did, really I did. I thought you'd be happier like that than as the sniveling ball of garbage you are now. No, I don't. You hurt Derpy. You slept around like a whore. You slept with the master. You've ruined yourself. You've gone too far. You are too much of a coward to face your mistakes. And that's what's keeping you from breaking. Well, you are cracking, but cracking is a slower process than breaking. To change back, back to the wonderful, brave, kind man to burden him with that guilt, your guilt. He'd shatter, I'm sure. Well, maybe not. I think you're better off dead, really. I can't get the screaming out of my head. Alright. Hold still while I try to figure this out. Still the same breeding. You want particles inside a magic hourglass. All I can conclude is that somehow, opening the heart of the TARDIS in this universe created a magical pocket within the hourglass and pulled the very essence of the TARDIS inside it, and thus personifying it as a pony. It's only a fraction of the TARDIS, though. She's still able to fly and function. This explains why she can't speak. This universe makes no bloody sense with all this magic-breaking rules. My, now there's a pretty mare. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous! I don't know how it happened, but you have to admit, the creature that the hourglass turned into sure is beautiful. You're right, she's absolutely stunning. What will you do with that beautiful mare? Will you give her a name? The name is Ananta. It means endless. And that's what I'll do with her. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. And that's the page. <laughs>